To find today's lesson, you will go to code.org. That is C O D E dot O R G. Code.org. Welcome to today's computer lesson for second grade. This year in Computer Lab, it would look a little different. We are going to be learning an exciting new language called code. Some of you in Global Studies last year had a chance to use the robots. Those robots speak this language of code. We will learn to do some great things with our coding skill. Let's get started. First, you will open up your browser and you will go to code.org. That is C-O-D-E dot O-R-G. When you are here in the top right corner, you will see sign in. Click on it. Then you will enter your six letter session code for second grade. Second grade's code is F-M-P-H-Z-R. When you are done, you will hit go. It's okay if you don't remember this. It will always be out on your compass page under library. When you come in, it will say, welcome to second grade. You will find your name in the list of all of these names. It is listed alphabetically by your first name. If you have more than one name, it will be your last initial. I am Buzz Lightyear, so I will click Buzz and my teacher gave me a password. It's a picture. My password is the alien with three eyes. I will then click sign in. Once I sign in, I'm ready to go. This is course C. It is made just for second graders. If you look, there are lots and lots and lots of lessons in here, but don't worry. You don't need to do them all today. Today, you will just work on one lesson. Now, of course, if you enjoy it and want to do more, you're welcome to do that. As you can see on here, we will be starting at the bottom to look at something important. There is a concept. The concept might be something you have to read or a video or a map that you will watch. It is a diamond on your lesson. When you are working on it, it is highlighted green. When it is done, it will be solid green. An activity is something that you must do. It could be an activity, a puzzle, an online activity, a question, but it is going to be a circle. When you complete it, but you use too many blocks, it is light green. When you complete it correctly, it will be dark green. These little things that say unplugged activity, you don't have to do them, but they are a lot of fun. You can try to do them at home, but since we are not together, we will not be doing these together online. So for today, we will start with lesson four. The first one is a diamond. That means it is content. There is a video for you to watch that explains the maze intro using computer science background. They will explain that block coding is when blocks click together just like little Legos. These blocks give direction to the computer and tell you what to do. When you are done watching the video, you will click continue to move on to the next level. Okay, let's begin. Once you are into the puzzle, you will see that there are a couple of areas. This first area with the picture, this is your play space. Your job is to get the angry bird from his spot to the pig. The word run will run your program, so it will make your bird move. This top section, these are your instructions. You will be able to hear it read to you by clicking the play button. It will read, for this puzzle, drag all of the blocks together and click run now, if you still are having problems or need apparent help, you can click on the little book. 
In the little book, you can choose your language. So, yo hablo español. Hmm. Spanish! I can change the entire document to read in Spanish for me. When I am done, I click the back arrow to get back. The bottom space, the gray area, is your toolbox. This tells you what tools you have. And the white space is your workspace. If you look on the purple bar, it will tell you you have three blocks to use. I run my program and congratulations, I completed puzzle two. All right, let's continue on. Here comes level three. Okay, I must move the pig. Hmm, think in your head, how many spots will he need to move the bird to get to the pig? Yes, if you said three, you were correct. We only have two. We must drag one block from our toolbox. Now let's run our program. One, two, three. All right, congratulations. You completed puzzle three. Okay, puzzle four. Ooh, this peg is ruffling my feathers. There is one extra block that is going to cause the bird to crash. Throw it away by unhooking it from the gray blocks and dragging it back to the toolbox. Hmm. Uh-oh. Keep coding, something's not quite right. Let's try that again. There was a mistake where the blue box is at that says move forward. Let's take that out. We do not need it. Okay, reconnect all the pieces. Let's see if this works. Reset, run. Yes, that time it worked. You've completed level four. As you continue forward, the puzzles will get harder. You might not get it right on the first try, and that's okay. Sometimes it helps me to pretend I am the bird. I might even stand up at my desk and turn right or turn left to pretend I am moving through the pattern. Sometimes that is just enough to help me. If you do not know your left from right, this might be a little difficult. Remember, when you put your hand in the shape of an L, the one that is correct is left, the one that is not correct is right. Now, if you make a mistake, it's not bad. You go and reset your blocks and try again. All right, we've beat level five. Congratulations. Okay. From this point, you will work until the end of the level. You will get to the flag and it will say, you have finished all of today's lessons. You do not need to move on to lesson five. However, if you really enjoyed this and are having fun, feel free to move on to the next lesson. I cannot wait to hear what you think of coding. Can you please help this angry bird find that pig so he can be happy. Happy coding everyone. Bye.